National Development Plan, Vision 2030, captures a number of objectives and outcomes to realize better living standards for the people of Jamaica. And it will involve engagement of all the stakeholders uh, to drive economic growth and to realize development for the country. And a key sector, a key component, a key area of that is the business environment. And it's really the private sector. And the business environment reform agenda is a program facilitated through our Foundations for Competitiveness and Growth Project, FCGP. PIOJ is the implementing entity for the FCGP, for this with the acronym Foundations for Competitiveness and Growth Project. And it started initially with a $50 million US loan from the World Bank, a geared at improving the business climate and the overall business framework um, for Jamaica. FCGP started out um, back in 2014, 2013. It was developed um, jointly by the World Bank and the government of Jamaica. It is designed to strengthen the business environment in Jamaica for private sector investments. And what that means is contributing to a number of pillars that are deemed to be foundational to the growth of the Jamaican economy. One such foundation is reforms under what we call Component 1, which is um, supervised by JAMPRO. As far as Component 1 is concerned, we have done quite a lot of work in terms of um, developing uh, laws, developing procedures, developing um, portals to make life easier for the private sector to interact with government of Jamaica. We have created what we call the National Business Environment Reform Agenda. And through the National Competitiveness Council, which is chaired by Senator Honorable Aubin Hill, Minister of Industry, Investment and Commerce, is a private public sector partnership where we hear about the problems that government has and we find solutions to change those problems to make it easier. JAMPRO manages that entire process. One of the key goals of JAMPRO is to make sure that Jamaica is competitive when investors and exporters are looking at doing business with our country. In order for that to happen, it means that we need to be constantly improving our processes to be better than every other country around us. What the work that FCGP has supported has done is allowed us to create a special economic zone regime. And so with that support, we have been able to build a framework that allows businesses to operate effectively in Jamaica. We started off in 2016 with the passage of the Special Economic Zone Act. So the SEZ regime makes it more cost effective for companies to operate. In addition to providing incentives that makes the cost of business lower, the SEZ regime also provides linkages for our MSMEs so that they too can be integrated into the global value chain. You will note that one of our incentives is a 0% general consumption tax rate. What that allows for is for companies who seek to purchase goods and services from our MSMEs to do so more competitively as they don't have to pay that 15% general consumption tax. And so the SEZ allows us to integrate our MSMEs into the global value chain. And of course, because of the incentives provided, it makes it more cost effective for companies to do business. Some of the systems and implementation, not so new, they have started from as far back as 2013. So we have the Companies Amendment Act 2013 that created the super form or the one-stop registration. So what this amendment in the law essentially did, it got rid of people having to go to five government agencies. Persons can now come only to the company's office of Jamaica. And instead of completing 60 pages of form, they complete eight pages. And in that one step, they get registered with the company's office, they get their taxpayer registration number, in the case of companies, a TCC, they get registered with the NIS, Hard Trust, and the NHD. Instead of a customer going to five government agencies, they come to one agency and they get all the registration done and it's at no additional cost. If you think about it, most of the government services that GOJ provides are not provided by anyone else. So we know we had to figure out a way on how could we provide these services to the citizens, business and any other stakeholders in some digital platform because everything is going digital now, in some centralized way 
that they wouldn't have to try and remember every single URL for every government site, every single business that actually our ministry department and agency that would have to carry out these services. So that was the rationale behind having this centralized digital platform, gov.jf, to make sure that we provide a user-friendly, seamless and easy to remember way in which people can access government services. Because the key things we have focus areas and categories relating to business as well on gov.gm because that's a critical thing for the government. A wide range of persons can access the Ministry of Tourism services on the Business Gateway platform. We have hoteliers, we have tourism attraction owners, we have car rental owners, we have contract carriage drivers, we have just simply the person that has an interest in investing in the sector. You can apply for your JTTE license for accommodation attraction, you can apply for your contract carriage license for your vehicle. You can apply for the tourism concession. You can apply for tourism incentives. So there is a myriad of services you can apply for on the platform. The Jamaica Business Gateway is an amazing platform that I foresee will help us in many different areas. One is to streamline business processes for the tourism stakeholders, as well as to help them connect with us quicker and easier. So it's really an amazing tool. One of the major tenets of Vision 2030 is for a prosperous economy in Jamaica, and land tenure is a critical part of that. NLA is supporting the government's vision in two ways. Electronic titles, which will revolutionize registration of, of land title matters, in the future and allow us to have a more efficient system and currently we are doing systematic registration which allows us to be in the field to adjudicate land ownership one of the issues that we have in this country persons own land but they can't prove it systematic registration allows us to go in the field and door to door we adjudicate your land rights where you are and we've had tremendous success in the last three years and we've issued far more titles than we have in the last 17 years of land registration so systematic registration and e-titles together we support the government's mandate to have a prosperous economy by 2030. Electronic titling will revolutionize how we do land transaction in Jamaica. It will change the landscape for real estate dealings in this country. It will allow us to efficiently and transparently register land transactions in less time than it does in the current paper-based system. We're talking about reducing turnaround times from weeks to days, from days to mere minutes. The one word I'd use to describe the government's partnership with the private sector is logical. Necessary. Game-changing. Complementarity. Effective. Collaboration. It's vital. Both government and the private sector working together to make this country great. So it's a logical step to have that partnership and strengthen that partnership over the next coming years. If we want to realize the types of outcomes, it's going to take collaboration, of course. We have to work together. Making sure that government services are effective so that our private sector partners can have effective businesses. There is no world within which we can build an effective framework or enabling environment for businesses to operate without our business partners. We have to hear from them, we have to, be, we have to support them, and we have to create an environment that is informed by the realities that our businesses face on the ground. And so there are no two ways about a public-private partnership. It is how we have to work, it is how we must work in order to grow the economy of Jamaica. So government has to set the stage, provide the rules, the regulations, the facilitation, and everything to make businesses get established, operate, and flourish. It's game-changing because it has allowed the COG as a public sector entity to make changes in a much shorter time than it would have done without the partnership from the private sector. It's very critical to us working together. We have to come together as one country. We have to be also collaborative in how we work together.